Photography in video games has been a fairly long-standing tradition, one that's blossomed thanks to various third-party tools. Dedicated photo modes have also seen a surge in recent years, offering all kinds of unique options to capture your favorite moments in gaming. Let's take a look at the 15 titles with the best photo modes and what they bring to the table. It may not seem like much now, especially considering how many PS4 and PS5 titles have received the same, but Horizon Zero Dawn's photo mode was a pleasant surprise back in the day. It allowed for adjusting the field of view, adding dynamic color filters, changing the time of day, and adding and customizing vignettes. A later update would add poses and facial expressions for Aloy, resulting in some rather wholesome shots. There are numerous ways to admire the gorgeous vistas and vehicles of Forza Horizon 4, but photo mode is probably the most worthy. It comes with all of the standard features like exposure, color strength, brightness, contrast, focus, and shutter speed, but also allows for resetting cosmetic damage to one's vehicle, making it look like new. But perhaps the coolest feature in Horizon Promo, where your photos of cars are featured and CR is awarded for the same, you can even unlock two new cars. 2018 Ferrari Portofino and the 1995 Porsche 911 Carrera Gunther works by photographing 100 and 200 cars respectively. Marvel's Spider-Man saw Insomniac Games throwing its hat into the proverbial photo mode ring and performing quite well. I gotta stop that car. The usual options like focus distance, aperture, and so on can be seen along with a myriad of filters. The stickers were an excellent touch, providing tons of choices and multiple layers to stack into a single image. Want to create your own custom Spider-Man comic book cover or panels? There are a number of frames to help with that. Miles Morales built upon these options further, adding the ability to change suits within photo mode or just remove Spidey and his enemies altogether. Added in a post-launch update, God of War's photo mode provided everything necessary to highlight the journey of Kratos and Atreus, from film grain, filter and exposure options to vignettes, field of view and camera rolls, you could create monochromatic portraits of gorgeous profiles of the environments and enemies that fill them. But along with toggling the visibility of characters, Photo Mode also introduced a range of facial expressions for our heroes, like Kratos winking at the camera. It's one of those things that you didn't really know you needed until then. Rocksteady's open world epic doesn't boast the most extensive photo modes, simply allowing you to move the camera, adjust brightness, and use different shaders along with hiding the HUD. However, considering it was released in 2015 before photo modes really went mainstream, it was a nice way to capture Gotham City in all of its stunning detail. For all the different reactions that Death Stranding evoked, there's no denying that it's a very good looking game. It didn't receive a proper photo mode until the PC version released last year, but it was well worth the wait. So that's the place. Along with adjusting Sam's pose and expressions, you could change the same for a BB, making some truly interesting snaps. Other functions like autofocus, depth of field, aperture, and so on could also be adjusted along with face and body tilt, eyeline, vignettes, chromatic aberration, lens distortion, frames, and much more. Another photo mode that arrived late, Final Fantasy VII Remake's photo mode is sadly exclusive to integrate on PS5. Nevertheless, it provides free movement, options for angle, tilt, and exposure, and several filters to choose from like black and white, antique photo, sunset, and whatnot. It can be somewhat restrictive compared to some of the other titles on this list, but still provides incredible freedom for admiring the world. Almost everything you could want in a photo mode, from numerous frames and filters to different logos and facial expressions, are all present here. 
But Ben Studio went even further, implementing Focus Lock on top of an advanced mode that allows for changing dozens of parameters like near and far settings for tint, saturation, gamma, and much more. You can even take one of the filter presets and modify it to create something unique, and then save that as a custom filter for repeated use. Thanks to the recent Xbox Series X and PS5 update, more players can take full advantage of Control's photo mode and properly document its beautiful weirdness. If you're keen on making Jesse look as stylish as possible, then there are settings for aperture, depth of field, focus, distance, and so on. But if you want to highlight the stunning architecture of the oldest house or the gorgeous ray tracing, then simply hide all the characters, apply a suitable filter, and admire away. Red Dead Redemption 2 is almost three years old at this point, but still looks as stunning as the day it launched. As such, it could have gotten by with a normal photo mode, but Rockstar went all out with options like free cam, exposure, and an option to lock it, focus distance, blur strength, lens types, and more. There's a crazy number of filter types as well, from the old timey diuretope or tin type to charcoal and gelatin. You can also add location tags, logos, greetings, and stickers to the images afterwards. One of the many photo modes out there, Gran Turismo Sport is perhaps the most unique. It's an entirely separate mode called Scapes and allows you to place any vehicle into numerous photographs of real world locations. Based on the car's location and the environment, it'll be affected naturally by the lighting. You can then play around with options like shutter speed, focus, exposure correction, filters, and even panning shots settings, but the seamlessness of placing a car in famous locations, marveling at the realism on display, is worth it alone. Though not possessing the most feature-packed photo mode on this list, Super Mario Odyssey's solution is still fairly robust and easy to use. Dubbed Snapshot Mode, it's activated by pressing down on the D-pad, bringing everything to an immediate halt. From there, you can pan, zoom, and tilt the camera while selecting unique filters like NES, Game Boy, Oil Painting, and Coin, which converts Mario's position and backdrop into a shiny gold coin. It's impressive how so many PlayStation exclusives could include a photo mode while adding enough unique features to stand out. Ghost of Tsushima, for instance, lets you adjust the wind direction and speed, thus influencing how Jin's attire will react. You also notice that the environment isn't frozen in photo mode. Instead, elements like falling leaves and cherry blossoms continue to move, and this can be used to create animated images. There's also a mode which removes certain colors, making others pop, and the tracking shot for taking sweeping images of environments by manually setting up points. When the difficulty of Demon Souls wears on you, try taking a break and messing around with the photo mode. Along with different expressions and poses, you can add different filters, adjust the bloom threshold and strength along with lens debris, hide weapons and helmets, or just remove your character entirely. One nice option allows photo mode filters to be used in-game and includes a classic filter for capturing the feel of the original PS3 game. By now, the formula for photo modes in PS5 titles should be clear. Filters, frames, poses and stickers along with options to change field of view, focus, etc. However, Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart lets you add up to three lights in a scene, which changes the overall feel, especially since you can use different kinds of spotlights and sphere lights. Welcome to the Nefarious City Bazaar. Please remember to thank our marvelous Emperor before, during, and after making your purchase. Visual Effects Mode allows for some effects to animate in still images while different weapons will provide specific poses when unlocked. You can also equip different armor pieces together or simply toggle armor off altogether in pictures. And that about does it for this video. If you enjoyed what you watched and want to see more from Gaming Bolt, you can always hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell icon next to it. That way you will never miss any of our videos.